Whew. What's going on you guys? Welcome to the Single Guy channel. My name's Lloyd. So today we got a question from this guy. Um, he basically writes me, he writes, bring it up. He says, Lloyd, huge fan of your practical advice and your channel. Okay, cool. All right, he's wondering, he overheard a conversation between a female coworker of his and another female friend. So they were talking and she mentioned, she says that her boyfriend is giving her too much attention and it is turning her off. So he says, I don't know if you've done a video on this, but what happens when a single guy for years gets a girl and thinks giving her a lot of attention is good? I can even see myself falling for this. What balance would you recommend? Where if we land a girlfriend, we show her we are interested, but play aloof at times. This is real complicated, man. Physics is easier at this point. <laughs> Okay, uh, so it sounds really complicated, but it's really not, man. There's a very, very simple solution. I don't think you need to play any games in this situation uh, where you need to be interested in your girlfriend or the girl that you're dating at times and then play aloof at times either. I think micromanaging like that, you can fall into a lot of problems. But let's be real, man. This is kind of a fear that a lot of guys have, you know, if they get a girl that they really, really like and they start showing her a lot of attention like they feel like they should, they're probably going to lose her or the girl's not gonna wanna sleep with them anymore, okay? It's a very understandable fear. Fortunately, there is a very easy solution. So I'm gonna get into that right now. But before I do, just before I do, if guys, if you're wondering how to get trained by me in person, I have my live training schedule down below. I'm coming to San Francisco, I'm coming to Los Angeles, I'm coming to Toronto, um, all of this in January. And then I'm also going to be in uh, Miami and New York. So take a look at my schedule down below if you're in any of those cities. Okay, cool. So what's the simple, simple solution to this? Um, the first thing is that it, you guys should not be having to play games. If you're having to micromanage things in a relationship, that's not a good sign. So the way you prevent this, the way you prevent losing the girl or being too needy or being too, uh, or not interested enough so that she feels neglected, is you basically never wanna put her first. Don't put your girlfriend, the girl that you're dating, or especially a girl that you're pursuing, the number one priority in your life. You never ever put them number one. Do you know what you do put number one? You put yourself as number one, okay? Number one has always gotta be you because if you don't make yourself good, then she's not gonna wanna be with you. She got with you because you rose yourself to the level that you are, to, you are the person that, uh, that you are at this moment and if you stop becoming that person to try and please her, well then she's not gonna wanna be, be with you anymore, okay? She wants a guy who's going after things. She doesn't want a guy who neglects himself, okay? And so I know a lot of you guys are thinking, you're thinking, okay, well if she's not number one, maybe she's number two. She's not even number two. Okay, and she probably shouldn't even be number three. In reality, what your girlfriend or girl that you're dating should probably be in terms of priorities in your life is fourth. She should be fourth, dude. When I'm dating a girl, that girl's never number one. You know what is number one? Me. Do you know what's number two? My career. My career is number two. Okay, and then third is my family, my mother, my father, my sister, all of those people that I've known since birth that have raised me, okay? <laughs> And then finally, number four, that's where she is. If I really like this girl and we've been, we've been dating for a while, she's fourth. Now, fourth seems like pretty bad and it shouldn't seem pretty bad, okay? Because we're taught when we grow up from a young age, we say, you have to always put your girl as number one. She's the most important person in your life. If you follow that advice, you're going to lose her so freaking fast, man. The world's telling you a lie. You shouldn't be pl placing this girl as number one, dude, you should be placing yourself and all these other things before because why do you think she wants to get with you in the first place? She wants to get with you because you have those things because you're on top of yourself, because you're making sure that you're doing better in life, because you're taking care of the people that you love in your life as well too. She doesn't wanna be with a guy who's willing to drop everything at the, you know, at just as soon as he meets a girl that he likes. He's gotta have priorities. So if she marries this dude and maybe she gets upgraded to number three, because now she's part of your family, so um, she's upgraded to there. What if you start neglecting those things? If you start neglecting those other things, your career, yourself, why would she want to be with you? Okay? She wants to be with a guy that's going after things, who's ambitious, who's a high value male. You know? Not just in not just in career wise and like monetarily, but she wants a guy who's improving, who's making himself a better person every single day, but also places importance on his family. 
okay? Now, this doesn't mean that you don't love the girl. This doesn't mean that you're not super interested in her. This doesn't mean that you don't want to spend the rest of your life with her and spend most of the free time that you have, you know, being married to this person. Okay, it doesn't mean that. But what it does mean is that when it comes down to it, you are going to place yourself, your career, and your family first, always. Okay, do not place this individual girl as number one because that will ruin your life and it's gonna ruin hers too. Okay, cool. Well, thanks a lot, you guys. If you're wondering how to get coached by me one-on-one, -on -one, there's a form down below, and I'm looking for guys that are super motivated to change their life right now, okay? So fill out that form, and if we feel like you're a good fit, we'll get back to you. Okay, cool. Thanks a lot, you guys. Good luck out there.